So today we do want to kick off Great Expectations. And this is a 30 to $40 million effort that the Cape B. Reynolds Charitable Trust is beginning as an investment to prepare our youngest residents for lifetime success. The mission of the Cape B. Reynolds Charitable Trust is now and always has been to improve the quality of life and quality of health for financially needy North Carolinians. We've always been committed to the success of young people, but this effort marks our greatest, most significant, and most focused effort in our almost 70 year history. The goal of Great Expectations is that we want at least, and I just say at least, at least 90% of all children from financially disadvantaged families to enter kindergarten having met every age appropriate milestone, social, emotional, physical, linguistic, you name the milestone, we want them to have, to have met that. And we want to do that using five core priorities. Improving family and child health, Improving self-regulation and self-functioning of both the, the adult and the child. Improving parent-child interactions or a, a caregiver, adult caregiver child interactions. Supporting children's social, um, I'm sorry, their, their language, their oral language and vocabulary development, and then strengthening families and family systems. And we think doing those five things across these 10, next 10 to 15 years with all of the partners that we, we need to have at this table with us, we look forward to just having this community be a beacon for not only the rest of the state, but the rest of the nation for how you develop a system for success for young people. At the Trust, we believe that it is the community's responsibility not just the trust responsibility, not just the responsibility of teachers, but the community's responsibility to establish that effective system that supports all families. Now, why would we need something like Great Expectations in this county? Well, sadly, thousands of young children, just like the ones you saw making all that noise a few minutes ago, sadly, thousands of them enter kindergarten already behind, or very likely to, to fall behind their peers. In fact, in this county alone, 2,400 students enter kindergarten every year unprepared for the challenges that the school has to offer them. And those children from low-income families are the most likely to be affected in this way. In Forsyth County, 54% of children under six live in families whose income is 200% of poverty or below. And a full 63% qualify for free and reduced lunch in our school system. Children should have child size problems. You know, he's touching me is a child size problem. Or she jumped me in line. That's a child size problem. Children shouldn't have to have the problem of homelessness, or not having food in the house, or being evicted, not having a home, or worried about mom doesn't have a job. Those are not child size problems. And so we can't address and uplift our children unless we also make an effort to uplift the adults in their lives.